game, Watson. Well, that's the way you like to finish the. Thirty four. And missed one that height, and that time she made it look and easy. Well, the reason she made this look so easy was look how balanced she is when she goes to hit the ball. She stops, she sets, and then she accelerates a racket head through. Take that, she said. Yes. Well, it's interesting, David, isn't it? Neither of these women had the real firepower of a Sharapova or a Safina. They're just not as tall as those women. They're not six foot three, six foot four. So these players are really needing to use their legs, be very athletic. Well, if Heather Watson is to beat Peng Shui, this is how she needs to do it. In order to get into a situation where she has the Chinese woman really stretching and taking one hand off. Big points in this match. You know, I was trying to think of a term to put it this way. Is it on the replay you notice that it's almost like one player is the puppeteer and the other one's the puppet? And in this case, I think Watson was the puppeteer. Well, best rally of the match so far. Look how high Ping Shui gets the ball over the net in order to give herself time to get back in the point. Point was set up well by hitting the ball down the middle of the court and creating an opening. Good thing about that point, Heather Watson coming into the net, anticipating the volley should it come.
Johnson will end. Well, this is one of the few times recently we've seen Heather Watson stepping right into the court. You can hear the crowd, they're ecstatic. They love the fight back. Well, you'll notice here how Watson has the ability to keep Peng Shui well back behind the baseline, forces a weak return, and there she's able to come into the net and be aggressive. So she can keep her opponent well behind the baseline in a defensive position. She will be able to dominate the points more. One all. Thirty life. Oh, what a great shot here. Not hugely high percentage. She's at the back of the court.